Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So I know I just recorded a what is in my fanny pack video, and you know, it triggered me to look into my old what's in my purse videos, what's in my gym bag video, and I thought it was time to record a updated what's in my gym bag video because the last one I recorded was in 2016, which is probably the year I actually started to get into working out at the gym, had my first gym membership at a real gym with other people and let me just say a lot has changed since I was looking at what I carried in the bag then versus now and there are so many differences so I thought why not show you guys what I carry now in 2020 now that the gyms are open again um, to the gym because there are um, some pieces of equipment and accessories that I didn't know existed back then when I started to work out as opposed to now I literally have all my bases covered. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to my channel, the notification bell and the thumbs up button to be notified every time I have a new upload to my channel. Without further ado, let's get on into the video. So starting off with my gym bag, it is actually the exact same one I had shown you guys in my 2016 What's in my gym bag video. It is a Lululemon large duffel bag. I believe it's called the Urban Warrior. Don't think that they have it around anymore, but Lululemon is always coming out with the newest, techiest, coolest gym accessories or like bags and fanny packs and backpacks to begin with. So just keep browsing their website. Every Tuesday is when they launch new product or have new drops as uh, the sneaker heads would say. So obviously this bag has treated me fairly, fairly well. I have no breaks, no broken zippers, nothing. It has done done me well. It has very well done me well. I'll give you guys a quick overview on the compartments just to refresh your mind if you haven't watched my last What's in My Gym Bag video. So this is very heavy because it is very full, so I'm gonna try not to hold it up for too long, but there is a slip pocket in the front, slip pocket in the back, big main zipper compartment here, side compartment here, just a, like water bottle, and then another one for another water bottle. Now I love storage space, organization, pockets, compartments, I'm all about it. So you better believe your that I take this to my full advantage. So on the side here, we'll start before going into the main compartment of the bag. I have my little blender bottle, shaker bottle. I'm super extra and I carry a little bottle to the gym and a large bottle to the gym. The reason being is for the little one, I like to put my pre-workout in with some water and then I have my separate water bottle that just has my water in it. And the reason being is I don't like the reminiscing like little particles floating around in my pre-workout water bottle when I refill it with normal water. I don't wanna keep tasting that pre-workout taste. I want my palate to be cleansed and moved on to just fresh water. So me being a weirdo, I have this little one for my pre-workout and then I have my large one for just my water. And I got this cute little baby on Amazon so I'll make sure to link it down below. Also in this side pocket here we have snacks because I'm at the gym for so long sometimes I get hungry in between my workout um, with like weightlifting and then going on to cardio. So I have a protein bar always on hand and then I have an apple. Um, just depends what I'm feeling. But these are usually my go-to snacks at the gym. I also keep my locker lock on my bag. So this is where the long strap of the bag would go that would connect to both sides, but I don't usually use that. So I just use it to hang my lock on. Okay, in my other side pocket, I carry my wallet. It's my Tory Burch one. And then in the top front pockets here, I have my phone in one side. And because we are living in a world where we practically wear masks everywhere, I have my mask to enter and exit the gym and use the bathrooms. One thing I would also have in here that I don't have on me right now is my car keys, and that would also belong on the front slide pocket here. Before I dive on into the actual bag, I just wanted to say I carry one more thing that doesn't fit in the bag, really. So I carry it on my shoulder with a strap, and it's my big water bottle hydro jug. This is from hydrojug.com. I have the like baby pink, bottle with the leopard print sleeve and it's wonderful because it actually has a hand holding grip here and then in the sleeve you have a phone pocket which is awesome and it comes super clutch at the gym I put my phone in here all the time um, so this is my bottle I was talking about that I bring that just holds my water okay unzipping the main compartment now we're gonna start with shoes so when I train I have a flat pair of shoes and I have a comfier pair of shoes my flat pair of shoes are for 
a lot of leg days. Um, so currently my split right now is a little bit of full body on all four of my days. So it seems like I'm wearing flat shoes basically all the time. So in a plastic bag, because I don't want to get the inside of my bag super dirty, I have my Converse and Comme de Garçon collab shoe. Um, it's just a low top for leg days in this creamy white color. I love these so much. I get compliments all the time on them. They're so unique. I don't see a ton of people with them. And then when I do, I'm like, cool, Comme de Garçon Converse buddies. Um, and then my boyfriend has the high top pair. So it's like, we're always matching in some sense when we go to the gym with one another and it's cute that we have our shoes matching almost all the time. Then for my comfier shoe, I have my Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged sneaker and they are in white. These are pretty beat up now, um, but they look like this. These are the shoes I use for cardio and for cardio, I really just mean walking on a treadmill on an incline <laughs> for like 40 minutes to an hour. Um, so I like to have something that feels like I'm walking on clouds and that is these shoes to a T. I would never wear these for a leg day just because they're not flat sold obviously, um, but they're super, super comfortable for like treadmill use and other cardio machines. So I always have my two pairs of shoes on me and these are the ones that I'm currently carrying. Okay, then I have my long strap for my hydro jug here. So that connects to my sleeve for the water bottle. Um, because it is very hard to travel in a car with that water bottle, I typically put this strap over the head of a seat, like a, not a car seat, the seat in the car, and um, it stays in place and won't open and explode water everywhere. I then carry my very own hip thrust pad. Now you're gonna notice a theme of the color pink as I'm showing you all my gym accessories in this video, but this is the brand Iron Bull. Um, we had a, I say we, cause my boyfriend and I are constantly looking at different barbell hip thrust pads on Amazon, but I had a different brand before, and it was time to throw it out. It was well, well loved and used. Um, and I moved on to this one now. So this is my hip thrust pad I bring to the gym with me when I am hip thrusting. That one also can be found on Amazon, so I'll make sure to link everything I can if it's still available down below in the description box. I then have my pink knee sleeves. Told you you'd see a theme of pink in this video. Um, these were much more used when I used to squat and recently, I wanna say in the last like four months, four months ago, I stopped squatting completely just because it was taking a huge toll on my knees. Um, and they're affecting me on a day-to-day -day basis. So I cut squats pretty much out of all my workouts and my knees are just thriving right now. Um, these are amazing knee sleeves though. I cannot recommend them enough for people who do need some more knee support. Um, so they work for other exercises too when you're doing hack squats and stuff like that. Then the pre-workout I have on hand is just my C4 pink lemonade. Yeah, pink lemonade. Um, even my pre-workout is pink. The next thing I have here, my boyfriend and I actually recently purchased, and this is like a deadlift jack. That's what I'm gonna call it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, when we first purchased this, I thought it was absolutely garbage. I can't believe we spent $120 on this thing, um, but I just wasn't using it properly, and now that I know how to use it properly, it is a game changer. Ladies, if you are hip thrusting lots of weight or if you're deadlifting lots of weight and you have trouble getting the plates onto the bar because there isn't like any elevation um, or like a rise to be able to put your plate on, the real lifters out there will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, if you have trouble and you don't have someone like your boyfriend or your friend around or a trainer to help you get those plates on, this is a game changer. I really wish I had B-roll. Maybe I'll try to find a video online you take the barbell and you pull it back into this hook and then it rises it for you and you're able to put on the plates and then you roll it forward and you're good to go. This is a game changer. I'm so glad I now know how to use it properly because I can't go to the gym without it. I will link this down below. I know it is quite pricey, so I will try maybe reaching out to the company and seeing if they can offer a discount code for my viewers um, because I know that that would really help. I then have my Everywhere belt bag by Lululemon, which obviously was my last video. What's in my fanny pack? Uh, this is it emptied. It only has, I think, earphones in it right now. Um, when I'm on the treadmill and I want to be able to track my steps, um, I sometimes pop my phone in here and then just listen to a podcast or something because I don't have an Apple Watch or anything. Um, and then I have my Bose wireless earphones, which I have in that pouch for when I'm at the gym. Then the bag actually came with this drawstring bag, which I think is for like sneakers. That's what the label said, but I carry 
feminine hygiene products in here. So tampons, hygiene wipes, anything like that will be in this little bag. Okay, then I have a few more pouches. I have this mesh pocket here, which has just the randomest things. So I have a little Tory Burch drawstring like jewelry pocket, which I sometimes, um, it's actually very helpful. I put my rings or my necklaces in here to keep it separated from all my stuff. Um, I have a chapstick, I have a claw clip, Tylenol. I have straws, and this is for two reasons. Uh, one, if I'm drinking a monster, which is not normally at the gym, but for that. Second, for actually feeding my necklaces through to keep them separated and not get all tangled up. So I just link my necklace in here, keeps it nice and organized. I have a Halls candy for if I have sore throat or something. A hygiene wipe, which should be in hygiene bag, um, band-aids, hair tie, and of course some bobby pins. Then I have a back zip pocket and it's labeled sweaty wet unmentionables. I like, it's funny that they like labeled this bag. Like there's an iPhone pocket, a water H2O pocket, a sweaty wet unmentionables. And then one of the quotes in the bag is in it to win it. And it's lined with pink. So I think that's so damn cute. Anyway, so there's this big zip pocket back here. So I try to keep my stuff for the shower separate and in this pocket. So I have a sugar, spun sugar body fragrance. So just a body mist. I have a closed tooth comb, a wide tooth comb, and a hairbrush. I have toothbrush and toothpaste. And then I have cotton rounds and Q-tips and then the long strap for the bag. Last but not least, I have a bag within my bag and my boyfriend thinks this is the funniest because he's like, you technically don't bring a bag to the gym, which I do, but then the main one I carry around the gym with me, like on the actual gym floor that I don't keep in the locker is this purple drawstring bag. It's so much smaller and easier to sling over your shoulders when you're going from machine to machine. So this is what I have all my like necessities for when I work out. So I have my glute bands. These are all from Amazon. I'm missing a couple um, and these are the more heavier resistance. So I use these more for warm-ups. These are from Amazon. And then I have my strong hip circle with the grips inside. This one was quite expensive um, from a different website. I'll try to link it down below. This one is if I'm trying to superset and really get a good glute activation going. This one is a very heavy resistance. Um, I believe it actually is called heavy resistance. So I'll try to link that down below as well. We got more pink coming. So I have Two pink clips, so these are for the barbell. Um, I always find at most gyms, there aren't enough clips or they go missing or people steal them. So I just bought my own and I always know I'll have them and they work so much better. I know they'll definitely lock in place. They're not fidgety. And my boyfriend recently told me that these were a lifetime warranty. So that is amazing. If they break, they'll send me new ones. Um, I love these also from Amazon. I have a set of pink wrist straps and the brand for these ones is Secure Your Grip, grippowerpads.com. So they're just pink. They're okay. They're not my favorite wrist straps. Um, my boyfriend has ones that are like grippier. I like how they're rubber. These are more of like a ropey feel. So I'll link his down below and I'll also link these ones. But if I could go back in time, I would purchase the ones he has because they're a little bit better. And the brand for these clips are Iron Bull as well. So same brand as the barbell hip thrust pad. All right, I don't really wanna untangle this mess right now, but I have a long skinny resistance band. This one is really good for warming up or doing like assisted pull-ups. Um, when I'm warming up my back, this is such a good band. Um, and again, there are you know gyms that have these, but I find that I'm either waiting for them or I can't find it or someone stole them from the gym. So again, just always having my own is so much better. Um, then I have a random tampon hanging out in there. I have a cord to charge my phone with my Mophie when I pull that out. Sometimes my phone dies in the duration of my workout. And then the old school wired headphones, which I know nobody really uses anymore. They use wireless ones, but if mine ever die in the middle of a workout, we all know how awful it is to work out with the gym music instead of our own music. Then I have my ankle strap cable attachment. So this is really, really great for cable kickbacks. It's an essential, again, found on Amazon. And then I have my Mophie, which is my portable charging pack. And lastly in the bag, I have a lacrosse ball. Um, my boyfriend gave this one to me when I started having some back issues a couple years ago. Um, I believe it stemmed from deadlifting. So my back has improved so much since 
um, the pain isn't even a pain anymore. It's a little bit of discomfort every now and then, but not nearly as irritable as it used to be. And this rolling out on my back, game changer. This is amazing. Um, everyone should have a lacrosse ball and also like a golf ball um, for two different sizes, but a hard ball to roll out those, those kinks, those knots, game changer. And that, is everything in my gym bag. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, I'll link my old what's in my gym bag down below. I don't know what happened when I was recording that video, but like the stabilization is off and it's just like super shaky and I don't know what was going on when I filmed that. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what your main thing you need in your gym bag when you go to the gym is. I would love to know, but I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.